So, the big world title fight to come, but first let's catch up with Steve Bendall, the unbeaten super middleweight from Bournemouth. Bendall, who's 26 years old, is unbeaten in his first nine fights as a professional. He's won four of his fights inside the distance. This evening, he faces a tough, durable opponent in Eddie Haley from North Shields. Well, this evening, our boxing comes from the Ebervale Leisure Centre in South Wales. And with Robinson on tonight's card, there's almost certain to be an electric atmosphere. First, though, it's Bendall against Haley. Let's join our commentators, Steve Bunce. But first, here's Graham Beecroft. Round one. Round one. Bendall in the light blue trunks against 35-year-old Eddie Haley, who will come to fight. It was interesting, just before Bendall came out, I saw uh, Chris Sanagar in his corner there, just having a final word with him. And his final word was, Steve, make sure you move from the waist. Absolutely right, because with this guy, Haley, he gets close enough, you've got to have a lot of lateral movement. You know, he's not a big, devastating puncher, Eddie Haley, but he's a solid, solid eight-round, six-round fighter. Has had problems with cuts, Haley, and that might be uh, a difficulty for him here. He's already reddening just a little bit around his uh, left eye. Nice work downstairs by Bendel. Well, Bendel's right eye looks to be red and just a little bit. Oh, lovely crisp punching, though, by Bendel. Nice right and left combination. work to the head and switching well downstairs Bendall nice start by him there were nice clean shots he thought about them he placed them well exactly what you meant to do with a guy you know, a tough guy who's leaning over his front foot bring up some other guys try and hit him around the body and he's caught him off balance I don't think it was a terribly punishing punch but it was definitely down and the referee giving him a standing eight count now, this could be interesting if Bendel were to finish this one quickly. And uh, he looked a little bit shaken again there. These are good punishing punches from Bendel here. Haley taking them, but not coming forward with too much as Bendel unleashes and Haley back against the ropes. Bendel will just have to watch Haley's head there, referee telling him not to punch after he ordered the break. Well, this is good stuff from Bendel, picking up his man well. And Haley's taking some big guns here. It's the best we've seen Bendel, Graham. It's the, be the best I've seen in boxing in nine fights. I think I've seen all of them. Movement is good, and the punches are real power behind them. There really is power behind these. And he's not going to stay with this, Haley, and the referee has called it off. And I think that was a sensible decision. Those were big, heavy punches that were coming in there. Haley is a tough character, believe you me. He's not stopped very easily. In fact, that's only the third time that he's been stopped apart from a cut stoppage in his career. So that was a very good win indeed. And very good work by Steve Bendel from Bournemouth. Fantastic punches from Bendel. You saw from the opening round, he looked like he was picking his shots. He looked like he was going... For an, early, for an early win, but not a chasing win. He was looking for body shots every now and again. If he had to move back and land something long, he did that. It was easy, it was simple, it was sensible. Didn't waste anything. I think it was a fantastic finish, I really do. Very good indeed, because uh, Eddie Haley, who is the Northern Area champion, does not get put away easily. That's the knockdown early on. Nice punches from Bendel, finding his range beautifully. Haley coming in, going backwards there, and that's where the referee says, that's enough, you've taken too much. Good punches here. Yeah. What impressed me most, he dropped him with a clear head shot, and here we are at the end of the fight, and he's still looking to land body shots. He's still looking to bring his hands down. 
You know, that is how good Bendel could be. We know how good he could be. We'd like to see him a box more often, and we'd like to see him continue against guys like this. Now, that'll be interesting now, because it was a reasonable opponent, Eddie Haley. There's no question about it. Now the question is, does he really step up? It'll be interesting to see what they say in the corner. Look at that. Good punches, picking his punches well, finding his punches well, and the referee saying, that's enough, Eddie Haley. You're being outclassed. Okay, well, let's find out then about uh, Steve Bendel and the plans for the future. He's talking to Adam Dark. Steve, uh, bearing in mind the opposition, was that your, your best performance so far, do you think? I think so. I think so. You know, Northern Area champion, so I can't argue with that. And I've, I've been, my fights have been getting, as, getting better as I've been going along in the last few fights, but we've been working on the gym, picking my shots, not getting involved. And I think tonight you've seen me look, just keep taking a little step back and letting my shots go, not getting too involved, and it, it paid off. Yeah, Richie, uh, Steve Benner looking very sharp there tonight. We've often seen him on fight night and said he needed better opposition. He got it tonight, didn't he? He was certainly in against a rough and tough uh, character, I think. It surprised me. I didn't realise he'd moved up to super middle. We'd always, we'd always seen him at middleweight. Yeah, that, that's right. It took me by surprise as well. Well, he, he didn't even look a big middleweight, and all of a sudden he's a super middle. I think that will delay his, his stepping up process a little bit because now he'll probably have to have two or three more fights before he, he steps up in class again. Let's just take a look at the, uh, the early part of the, the first round, which caused the first and only round. And we saw, for a, for a fairly seasoned fighter, I mean, Eddie Haley was walking into it, wasn't he, really? Yeah, he was. The, it, started, it all started off there. There was a, a punch high on the head, I think it was on, on the temple. And then, but Bendel's doing well here because he's switching from the body to the head, so he's, he's catching his opponent with some good effective punches. Yeah. And then, of course, it gets to the stage as well when he puts, um, he puts Haley down as well, doesn't he? That's right, that's the punch again. It's, I think it was, a, it was a, a right hook, high on the head again, I think around the temple. And um, he just lost his senses a little bit there. Yeah, and, they, and going towards the end of the fight, I mean, the referee, frankly, had no alternative but to bring it to an end, did he? No, yeah, without a doubt, I think he, he got caught with uh, two or three good shots and uh, the referee, uh, he made the right decision by stepping in. Yeah, he was looking very strong, wasn't he, Bendor, at this stage? Yeah, I mean, there, switching from the, from the head to the body again. Good punches, a terrific left uppercut. That was that was a cracking punch, peach of a punch. The referee, then I think there was another right hook there and a, and a left cross. And the referee, he'd, he'd seen enough. Yeah, he we see it from the top there. You can see. Him. And he was making he was right making hook. them count, Bend all tonight, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, I thought he, as I say, he, he was switching from the body to the head very well. Um, a couple of good right hooks. They're, they're a bit high on the head, and the, and the referee. What, what does that suggest to you about how good he really is? Well, it's, a, it's still early days. As, as I said, moving up to super middleweight, it's a totally different division. Um, and, uh, and I think uh, before he steps up again, he'll probably have to have probably four to five fights at this division before he goes for something like a British title, I, I would think. But he's, be, he's doing everything what his, his trainers asking, asked him to do. Well, we certainly see him at his best tonight. Mm. OK.